Welcome back to Let's Buy Podcast. In today's mini vibes episode, you guys read the title, I quit my nine to five. So let's talk about it. Hello, you guys. Welcome back. This is a mini vibes episode, like I said, but now I'm having the mini vibes episodes on YouTube. So if you guys want to go check it out, the video version is now going to be up on YouTube. I now have the time to dedicate a little bit more. So mini vibes episodes are now up on YouTube. If you guys are watching on YouTube, hi, hello. Um, but these episodes are all about getting into the topic right away. So let's get into it. I quit my nine to five. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> and yeah, I just want to give a big life update as to what's been going on. Going into 2021, I had plans to quit my nine to five. That was my goal was to quit my job. I had some things in the works of what I wanted to do to replace that income. I knew I want to start making my own income and not work for anybody else. And so this has happened a lot faster. This has manifested a lot faster than I was expecting. Um, it's funny, last year in January of 2020, my mom had actually helped me update my resume. And I've been wanting to leave that job since last year, but because we were in a pandemic, I just decided to stay. It was the stable thing to do. I don't regret that at all. But it was hard going through that job because I realized I just was not passionate about it anymore. It was like grueling to wake up and log in for work because I just was not happy, was not passionate about it, and it just wasn't what I wanted to do anymore. And so all of last year, I really took the time to figure out, okay, what is it I want to do? And actually back in 2017, I had this idea of becoming a life coach which I put off because of my own self-limiting beliefs of like, oh, I need to live more life to be a life coach. Who is going to trust me to be a life coach? Who would actually like want to work with me as a life coach? This was all before I started Vibe with Aid, by the way, because I was working with a life coach um, at the time. And so I had my own self-doubt and self-beliefs in the way of making me think that I couldn't be a life coach. So that was like a far off distant dream. And it wasn't until one of our own, um, Shirley Delgado, she asked me in the Ask Aid Anything episode, the one that was at the end of 2020, if I had any career goals and how she could picture me being a life coach. And that just kind of was like, wait, like this is something I've always wanted to do. Let's visit that. January, I was like, you know what? I'm done playing small. I want to create my dream life. This is what I envision it to be. Shout out Maddie Maple for helping me through think through a lot of this and have this come to life because I ended up signing up to work with Maddie Maple. I ended up signing up to work with a li another life coach. Her name's Jennifer. It's kind of crazy how it all happened, you know? I made those really big investments to work with coaches and I was able to make that money back already just from like the universe and like things that I've gotten, which is just crazy to me. And yeah, I've just been kind of following what feels right. So that is something that is going to be coming soon is my own coaching business. I didn't know when, I don't know when it's going to be launching, but it's coming. So get excited. The name is really amazing. The program just feels right. It just feels like this is always what I've I'm supposed to be doing, you know what I mean? And so that was happening all behind the scenes in January and then something happened at my job. I'm not gonna talk too much into it, but it was kind of like my sign of like, oh, this is my time to get out. You know what I mean? <laughs> and nothing bad happened to me, like I'm fine. It was just one of those things where I was just like, okay, this is happening. I can either stay and keep on sticking it out and be miserable or I can actually like leave and just try and make this happen. Like I'm working with Maddie to get my business up and going. And yeah, and it was also crazy because I had an old manager reach out and she actually has some freelancing work for me. It just all has kind of worked out really, really well. So on January 25th, I went to put in my two weeks. I was terrified, uh, my heart was beating so fast, I was anxious all day over it, 
and I got on the phone with my boss and I just told him I'm putting in my two weeks um, and that was that. I told him when my last day was gonna be. When you're listening to this episode, I'm recording it on February 1st, but I've had some days that I get to take off. My last day is February 5th. You guys are gonna listen to this on the 8th and that's gonna be that. I'm gonna be officially unemployed, um, but I'm excited for what's to come. I feel so good about what's to come. I feel such a huge weight lifted off of me. Um, I'm not taking Vibe with Ada full time. Vibe with Ada is still gonna be kind of a hobby, but I'm also gonna use it as a side hustle to make money. It's not gonna be my main income. I do not make enough money off Vibe with Ada for that to happen, but I am gonna start investing a lot more in the Instagram just to um, make a little bit of money off of that. <laughs> and. I'm going to be signing up for, for some influencer platforms. We'll see how all of that goes and do a little bit more sponsored content. So if you guys see that, your girls just got to get that bag. <laughs> um, and then, so that's what Vibe with Aid's doing. She's a train that just can keep on going, you know what I mean? And I can stay consistent with that because I've been doing it for so long. And then we have this coaching business coming up. So stay tuned for that. I'm very excited about it. It just feels right and it feels good on what I'm gonna be coaching about. Um, you guys have heard me talk a lot about it throughout the Vibe with Aid brand, so um, I can't wait to share that with you guys and hopefully have some of you guys as my clients. We'll see about that. So that's all coming and- Hey you guys, so like I said, I recorded this February 1st and I realized I did not mention anything about the coaching business and what I named it. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw that announcement come through and I realized I did not talk about it in this podcast episode. So I'm popping in really quick to talk about it. It is going to be called Find Your Vibe Coaching. So we're all about the vibes here. You guys know this. So it is Find Your Vibe Coaching. It came to me and it just felt right. You know what I mean? Like it just clicked and it felt like it's something I've always should be should have been doing and should be doing. What it's basically going to be about is that I'm going to be helping you guys find your why. So if you are someone who feels that you are lost in life, you are just going along with what society has been telling you to do, you feel unmotivated, you wake up and you just are like, what is going on with my life? What is my purpose? Stuff like that. I really want to help you figure it out and I really want to help you find your way. I've talked about it before. I found my why back in 2017. It's always been helping people and that led me to creating Vibe with Aid There's been times where my why has been challenged and I really want to help other people that feel that same way. So I just feel it in my heart. I feel it in my soul. This is like always what I've meant to be doing. You know, it just took a while for me to get there and it took a while for me to get that confidence to do it. So I have launched it on Instagram and on TikTok. If you guys want to go follow it, it's at Find Your Vibe Coaching. I will be opening a slot soon to be taking clients So stay tuned for that. Make sure you follow those accounts to stay updated for when that happens. If you really do feel compelled and you want to like get in talks with me about it right away, you can DM me on those accounts or you can email me at findyourvibecoaching at gmail.com. But I'm still building it up and everything. I just want to make sure this program is as best as it can be for my people that need it. And so I'm really excited to help you guys figure out your why, but then also create a life that supports that. So we'll go through habits, routines, and everything like that. So that is my little (laughs) short little pitch about that. When I recorded this mini vibes episode, I had decided not to talk about it. But then after the fact, when it was going to be my last day, I was like, I might as well talk about what's coming next. So (laughs) um, in the matter of the four days after recording this episode, I made the choice to announce it. So we're announcing it here super excited about it and so also with this podcast that means that there is going to be content both for vibe with aid and for find your vibe you guys know with this podcast it really is anything i want to talk about people i want to interview so it is going to encompass festivals sometimes music sometimes but then also the self-help part to me so i really wanted to make sure that i keep this podcast kind of as a blend between find your vibe and vibe with aid Um, so I can talk about really whatever on this podcast. So just want to make that clear. Thank you guys for the support. And we're going to jump back into the mini vibes episode. Then once that gets going, I feel like I want that to be my main income. 
but I'm also going to be doing some marketing freelancing to make ends meet. Um, so my goal for February, I mentioned this in the podcast last week. I didn't want to quite share my goal just yet for February, but my goal for February is just to set a really good foundation for myself to make my own income. Um, and it's going to consist of revenue streams and bunch of adult stuff that I'm not excited for, but I am excited for. We have some time to figure things out. Luckily, I don't turn 26 until May. That is when I get kicked off my parents' health insurance. Um, so not looking forward to that, but you know, it is what it is. We're gonna figure it out. Um, and not excited about taxes, but we're gonna figure it out. So I'm trying not to intimidate myself. I'm also trying to enjoy this time. Um, of not having full-time work and just kind of like pulling from where I need to go and I just have talked about I feel very supported by God and I feel very supported by the universe that I'm taking the steps like every ever since I put in my two weeks I've just had nothing but good signs that have pointed to like yes you're on the right path so that makes me feel really good I did have to buy a new computer so I'm very excited about that I bought new airpods I had to make some big investments like that and I also invested in the coaching business and got some design work done for that. So lots of exciting things are happening. Um, and I'm just really excited to have this time to really figure it out. And you know, if six months from now it's not working, I can always go back to nine to five. But I really want to see if I can make this work. This is something I've been wanting to do since I started Vibe with Aid is to work for myself because I just think it'd be so awesome to create my own life and create my own reality and everything like that and work towards my own vision and not work towards anyone else's so i'm really excited about that um and we'll just kind of see how it all plays out um i feel very privileged in saying that i have been very fortunate and lucky that i have not had to stress as much about money as a lot of people and like i said i feel very fortunate and grateful in that sense like I've definitely had some trying times like when I first moved to Austin, but I've never really had to feel like I had to hustle for that paycheck and hustle for that money. So it's going to be a very challenging time to just kind of go off the deep end and just figure it out. But I'm really up for that challenge. I'm really excited about it. I'm reading um, You Are Badass at Making Money. So I'm definitely reworking my relationship and my limiting beliefs with money. And I think it's really going to help. So hopefully I can do a podcast episode about that book. I already, I'm like two chapters in and I absolutely love it. That is really it for me right now is that I quit my full-time job. I quit my nine to five and we're just going to see what happens. And I'm excited to bring you guys along with me. I am going to be vlogging a lot more again, um, just to kind of document this whole journey. <laughs> So I am going to be vlogging more on the YouTube channel just because I have time and I just want to kind of document how this all goes. So stay tuned for some weekly vlogs that I'll be doing. Um, and yeah, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to send an email, DM me if you guys want to have any follow up questions or conversations about this. Um, there will definitely be definitely be lots more to come on like what it's like starting your own business and like all of that. <laughs> I am really excited. Stay tuned for the coaching stuff. I am launching separate social media accounts for the coaching. And I just feel like all the stuff I learned with Vibe with Aid, I can just apply and even grow that even faster than I did with Vibe with Aid. But I am really excited to be launching all that. It's such a cute name. I'm going to be taking free clients to start and then I will have some real paying clients and everything like that. Just keep that in mind in case you guys want to work with me. Um, I'll be sharing more about that coming very, very soon. And this is crazy because I think this is my first time that I'm going to be publicly talking about it. Um, other than my Instagram posts that I'm posting on my last day. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to update you guys. I hope you guys are having a great Tuesday. Um, thank you so, so much for the support. I am so excited for this next step in my journey and I'm excited to bring you guys along with me. Hope you guys enjoyed today's mini vibes episode, this little life update. If you can gather anything from this episode, it's really, if you want something, you can make it happen. You can make that reality happen for yourself. You can make that dream life happen for yourself. 
you just got to do it sometimes and you'll know when it's right and if you don't feel like you won't know when it's right then you really should work on your intuition to tell you when it's the right time and figure out when it's time to lean into that fear lean into that intuition and yeah because I just feel a huge weight lifted off me and I just feel so excited about what's to come and what's next that I can't wait till 2021 is over and to just be like, I did that, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I hope that can serve some inspiration, some motivation for you. Like what are those steps you can be taking to create that dream life you want? What are those steps you can be taking to change what your day to day looks like, to switch it up, to just create that life that you really want and to stop playing small and to stop thinking that, you know, there's not a lot out there for you. There, there's always a lot out there for you and there's always more waiting for you. You just have to be willing to ask and willing to receive, you know what I mean? <laughs> so that is me on my soapbox getting off now. I hope that helps. Um, there's gonna be lots more conversations about it. So let me know if you guys have any more questions. Feel free to rate, review, subscribe, the podcast, all that jazz. Um, I'm excited for next week's episode. We have a really awesome guest, so stay tuned for that. I love you guys. Thank you so much for vibing with me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Stay vibey, Vibe Tribe. Bye!